know if you've ever kissed someone who was a bad kisser before, but if you have, I am so sorry. Because there are certain things you can do when you're kissing someone that just turn them on. And if you can do these things just right, they will drive any guy crazy with attraction. But the problem is, if you do them wrong, they will do the exact opposite. They will make him never want to kiss you again. And I've never done a video on this topic, but today, I feel like just doing a video about five things that any girl can do to be a better kisser. So if you're excited that I'm making a video like this, because I've never done anything like this before, uh, Give this video a thumbs up down below, and if we get over 2,000 thumbs up, I'll gladly make another video like this in the future. And with that being said, let's dive right in. Step number one, this is something that, it's a, it's a turn off, and we need to address it first, because if you're doing this, all the other things, it doesn't matter, this is that bad. And it's when you use too much tongue. By the way, now that I'm living in Vegas, it feels really weird to make videos, because I feel like they can hear everything I'm saying through the wall. I'm really hoping they can't, because this is going to be really awkward if, if, they, if they do. Anyway, the thing about using tongue when you're making out with someone is that less is always more. You don't have to shove your tongue down the other person's throat to show them that you like kissing them. When you're kissing someone, it's not a contest to see who can make the other person gag first. It's about the lips, okay? The lips are like the main course. The tongue is like a small side dish that you're not even that big of a fan of. It's like, yeah, okay, maybe I'll have like a little bit, but I'm not gonna have that much. That's how you have to think about it when you're making out with someone. Now this next one is definitely a secret turn on that all guys have, but at the same time, time, he's not going to tell you because he just wants you to know to do it. It's like if he tells you to do it, it almost takes away from how sexy it would have been if you just did it in the first place. It just makes it less hot, but the thing that I'm talking about is lip biting. Now when it comes to lip biting, look, there's two things you can do about this. Number one, if you want to make any guy think about kissing you, bite your lip. And if a guy is kissing you and you want to make him kiss you more, bite his lip. Now when I say bite his lip, I'm not saying go full walking dead on his ass and like rip his lip off. I'm saying, you know, do it, do it gently. Do it just enough so you can pull his lip a little bit. If you start drawing blood, that's how you know you bit a little too hard. Just in case you weren't sure. But it's just like when you're kissing someone and you bite their lip, it's like a little bit of variety to when you're making out with someone, and it's just sexy. So if you've never done that before, you're welcome. Now the next turn on that I want to talk about, this doesn't even have anything to do with the whole facial region. Some people think kissing is all about what you're doing with your mouth. And that is completely wrong. It's about both of your bodies intertwining and becoming one. I don't really know what I meant by that, but basically what I'm talking about is that when you're kissing someone who you like, there is no bigger turn on than pulling him in closer to you. Because that's what a lot of guys are going to do when they're into a girl. They're going to pull the girl closer into them. Because that's just their way of using body language to say, hey, I really like you, in case you couldn't tell by me kissing you. And so when you actually do it first, instead of him being the one to do it, that just makes him want you even more. And it's just one of those things where it's like, yeah, hugging someone, that feels good. Kissing someone, that feels good. Why not, you know, bring the two together? And it's just a good feeling and it's a good way for you to just say, hey, I like you a lot. Now another way that you can use your body in order to tell him that you like him a lot, this one's a little bit harder because you can't necessarily just do it anywhere, but if you're in a situation where you can, absolutely do this. But when you start kissing a guy, maybe you guys are sitting, maybe you're both lying on your side or something like that. At any point, if you can get on top of him, that is going to be sexy. If you're kissing him, push him on his back, get on top of him, and just start making out. See what happens. Because here's the thing, a lot of times if a guy likes you, he'll end up making that move first. But any of these moves that a guy is doing to you, you can absolutely do them to him and they'll turn him on just as much. It's just that we live in a society where guys are expected to make all those moves first. So when a girl once in a while breaks that rule and makes the move first, it's just one of those things that no other girl is doing and turns him on so much. When you're the only one one who's doing them, they make him want to kiss you way more than any other girl because he's comparing you to them, but this is perfect because when he compares you to them and you're doing these things and they're not because they don't watch these videos, he's going to like you a lot more. Now in this video, I'm giving you a lot of different things that you can do in order to turn a guy on, but if you really want to turn him on, not by doing anything, but just by using 10 simple words, you're going to love what I'm about to show you. But here's the thing, I am warning you, do not whisper these words into his ear unless the door is locked, you're somewhere private because things are about to get extremely hot and heavy. If you're already making out with him, all you got to do is slow things down for a minute and all you got to say is where is your favorite place to be kissed besides your lips. As soon as you say this, his mind is gonna be racing and thinking about all these different things that he is just such a fan of because no one 
ever asked him that question before. And now, you know his favorite plate, the, the thing that's going to turn him on more than anything else. So you're probably gonna have a lot of fun with that question. One thing I will say though, the best part of asking this question is that once he gives you his answer, what do you think he's gonna say next? He's gonna ask you the same question back. So I will warn you, when you ask him this question, make sure you have your own answer to this question as well. But yeah, things like that, they're just they're just a really good win-win situation for everyone. By the way, if you really like that question, you want me to give you some more questions that you can just memorize and ask anyone in order to instantly feel more connected to them, I have a list of seven questions that I wanna give you for free and someone's calling me. Because here's the thing, there are such things as good questions and bad questions. And I wanna give you seven good questions that you can ask him. So if you want that private list, you can click the link in the description down below. I'm going to personally send you an email with those questions so that you have them and no one else does. So if you like that question, if you want me to give you more copy and paste phrases like that in the future, give this video a thumbs up down below. And also, feel free to leave your answer to that question, where is your favorite place to be kissed besides your lips, in the comments section down below as well. I'm very interested to see what you guys say in the comments. And guys, if this is your first time ever watching one of my videos and you don't hate my face, feel free to subscribe because we make videos like this every single week. And guys, that's really all I've got to say on it, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.